Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Uh, it's a name we give our series of unboxing videos. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this game? Great Scott, it is the Back to the Future Dice Through Time board game from Ravensburger. Um, I think, is this a Prospero Hall? It doesn't say. I'm trying to see who the designer was, and I don't see it on here. It was Ravensburg. Um, so, Biff stole the DeLorean and went on a joyride through time, disrupting events and scattering items through space and time. Now it's up to you to help Doc and Marty repair the space-time continuum before paradoxes unravel the very fabric of the universe. Jump into your time machine, complete the events, return items, and help restore temporal order. The future is in your hands. Doesn't even, there we go. This plays two to four players. It uh, doesn't have a time limit on it. So I know nothing about this game. This is my first time opening up this box. You're going to get to hear my thoughts as I see what's in this box for the first time. All right, here we have the box for Back to the Future Dice Through Time from Ravensburger. A two to four player, I think it's cooperative board game. So first thing we get is the board with a nice little presentation right on the back of it. Um, this is a letter from Dr. E. Brown Enterprises to Marty and Dr. Brown. I am not going to read this whole thing out. So interestingly, the board comes shrink wrap. So step one is going to be to crack that open. Yes. All right, so now that we got the shrink wrap off of this, let's take a look. Nice four panel board, very colorful, bright colors here. We got some kind of time track at the top. You got spots for cards, you got different time periods. Oh, so here's your different time periods, 1885, 1955, 1985, and 2015. Which I still got to say, it's really weird that Back to the Future is now in the past. All in the past. You got Einstein tokens at the top. What a bright color for board, I got to say. There are little symbols in the corner of each of these. It's very small icons. Like there's a skateboard here, a broom here. Uh, nothing else on the back of the rest of the board. Alright, next we have a Back to the Future Dice Through Time Owner's Manual. It's cute, doing the whole you own the DeLorean thing. Um... Example of the components that come in the game. This has got to be a simpler game. This is a very short rule book. We are looking at a total of seven pages. Yes, yeah, seven pages of rules here. Some punch boards. They obviously did not get the movie licenses because they went with a very artistic look. Oh, this is actually, we're going to open this up because there's more than one punch board here. All right, here we are back with the punch board. So we have a punch board with four different character standees and a bunch of time tokens. Um, wow, the time tokens required having a copyright on the back of them. So I have to assume that's a very distinct clock. Um, so we're going to toss these down here so you can kind of see them. So you have your different characters, and it shows different time periods here. Again, I, I don't see any actual character licenses. For some reason, the clocks are copyrighted. The characters are not. Oh, they have a little copyright on the bottom too. Yep. Um, then we have doggo tokens and a bunch of symbols, which are going to be hard to see because they're on blue. Uh, there is a large thing that says roads where we're going. We don't need roads with a DeLorean steering wheel, which I'm going to assume is a first player token of some type. And the out of time license plate. Then we have more shrink wrap. Wow, they love the shrink wrap on this one. This game has a lot of thin cards shrink wrapped together without a good way to open them. I'm trying to make sure I don't damage this while cutting this open. It's actually more difficult than it looks. All right, 
So we have the different time periods here. That's what we have in this set. These are actually rather thick cards. They seem pretty thin, but these are rather thick card. Um, we've got graphics up at the top. It shows start at the clock tower. You've got the player order, the different dice actions, and then items to return at the bottom. And then the back's just artwork, which unfortunately is mostly blue. Uh, this is another example of one of the cards, the 1985 card. Then we get to little DeLoreans. Okay, that's kind of cool. There are micro DeLoreans in this game. I, I appreciate that. We have little DeLorean uh, cars in three, four different player colors. Those are well done. Those are nice little miniatures, to be honest. That's, that's I'm impressed by that right there. So we have that in four different colors. Here's a couple more of the colors. You can kind of see the size of them. We have standees for the four characters, just plastic standees, kind of what you'd expect. Then you have a deck of tiny little cards, but a thick deck of tiny little cards, which again are shrink wrapped. Okay, we're gonna move things out of the way here, just so. So we have items for 2015. We have items for 1985. Items for 1955. Items for 1885. Then we have a whole bunch of Back to the Future dice through time. So there you go. There's your different decks. So the item cards show various items. Uh, very abstract art style. So, for example, here is Lorraine's dresses card. Um, it's very much drawn artwork. It's not a picture of Lorraine's dress or Marty's letter. It's more like an icon of Marty's letter. And similarly, there's different items for each of the different time zones about five cards in each deck it's another example and the 1885 of course you need to skateboard then the rest of these cards i know nothing about again they are divided up by time period so example it says doc readies the delorean for rail travel and that's at the blacksmith shop Again, very stylized artwork on here. There are some symbols in the top corner. Doc saves Marty. Doc falls in love with Clara. So Doc, obviously we're following along with the plots of the first of the three movies. So there are a ton of these cards. They all have different symbols in the top corner. You have uh, Enchantment Under the Sea Dance. There's a famous scene from the original movie. You kids will love it one day. And so on again. I'm really taking the the art style is definitely a unique look. It is definitely not stills from the movie. So you have a whole bunch of scenes from here, but multiple copies of them with different symbols. So for example, here's the hoverboard chase card, and then there's the same hoverboard chase card with different symbols in the top corner. Uh, McFly family has some homemade pizza. Biff steals the DeLorean, and so on. Uh, then we have a bunch of just orange cards here. Not knowing the game, I couldn't tell you exactly what any of these do. There are a lot of these little cards. That is a significant stack. So all of this is fitting back into a rather orange box insert with a nice spot for everything here. And then we have the dice. Now this is some type of dice game. We have some really unique looking dice here in pastel colors with rather unique symbols on them. So are they all the same? It looks like it. So you have a uh, dock head, uh, a arrow, a fist, and a wrench, lightning bolt, and the flux capacitor. And you have that in orange, four dice orange, four dice pink, four dice, uh, I don't know what to call you, tan, and four dice in blue. They're nice dice. Um, these are not etched. It's worth noting, so oh, shouldn't grab the blue dice. They're not etched at all. That's just painted on there. So uh, there is a small chance over time these might rub off or get scratched off, but I think it's probably going to take quite a bit to use for that. I will admit I usually prefer engraved dice. So this is just um, painted on. Dice symbols. Oh, I somehow mentioned the wrench the last time. Sorry. There is also a wrench symbol. So four dice. I'm guessing in the four different player colors that would because they match the colors that are on these player standees. And that's it. That's what you get in Back to the Future, Dice Through Time. 
from Ravensburger. Just going to toss these dice back in here. Spot for the cards. Technically, there's even a spot for the punch boards. Rule book. This looks like a pretty simple one. Very serviceable insert. And the unique aesthetic of the, the artwork continues on the box. So there you have what you get in the box for Back to the Future Dice Through Time, a cooperative, no, competitive board game. Doesn't actually say. I don't even know. <laughs> a dice-driven game from Ravensburger set in the Back to the, Fun Back to the Future universe. Uh, you get to see what was in the box. Um, I'm impressed by the components here. Very unique art style. Uh, it's it's interesting to see a Back to the Future game that doesn't use any of the movie licenses whatsoever. Though it's obviously like the right DeLorean, and they're obviously the right characters, but it's almost iconography as opposed to it. So it is a cooperative game for um, two to four players. Cooperative, dice-based Back to the Future game from Ravensburger. So thank you for joining me. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop One Word on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all those fun places. You can also head to our webpage at tabletopbellhop.com. Also, if you're on YouTube, you've got links to all that right up here if you just click the i button. Thank you very much for your time. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, pound that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, and all those fun things you can do to keep us content creators happy. Good night and game on.